I have a recipe for you and it's the coconut bread pudding that I promised you. Remember? Well, this is the type of bread you will need to use. You will need to get either French bread or Italian bread. Any bread is fine. The only thing is I prefer this type of bread because um, you want to get a tough bread so that the dessert will come out nice and firm. Okay? So this is the type of bread. I've already uh, began cutting the bread into pieces just to save time, but I left the piece to show you, you know, what, what you need to do. So you're going to be cutting it in pieces. That's already what I've done in here. Okay. okay. You will take small pieces and you will put them in your bowl. Okay. And I will go over the ingredients with you in a minute. Okay, so there you go. So now you have all your bread here. This is this bread, okay? Whether you get it Italian or French. Okay, now what you will have, you will have to use is three eggs, okay? One can of coconut. one cup of melted margarine, one, oops, sorry, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of salt, um, one, of, one can of carnation milk. Now, if it's this big, you can, you, you use that one, but if you don't have that one, you have the small cans, it'll be two small cans, okay? But what we're using today is the larger one. And you will also include uh, one cup of regular milk, one cup of sugar, okay? Raisins, it depends if you like raisins. I really just put a, a small amount of raisins in there just because the recipe calls for it. And a sprinkle of cinnamon, okay? So now you're going to mix everything that I mentioned in here okay. in with your bread you're going to add the eggs okay three eggs okay before adding anything else in there you want to kind of mix it. There. Mix the eggs with the bread, okay? Now you will take your can of coconut milk, coconut milk, and add it to your bread. And you will do the same, you kind of mix it in there. And with this recipe, what you will do is you will butter your pans and you will bake this dessert at 350 for one hour, okay? Now you will add your melted margarine. Just make sure that everything gets incorporated in there. So. Now you will add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Any brand is fine, whatever is um, your favorite. So you have one teaspoon there, okay. One teaspoon of salt. And again, you will mix. Before I continue, I just want to set the oven to 350 for 
one hour. Okay, all right, now the next ingredient will be your carnation milk, evaporated milk, okay? So you're going to include that in there. Remember, it's either this size or two small cans. So I'm going to mix, just mix everything. Take a, a close look. I'm doing here. Okay. Now what I do is I mash it a little just because the bread is so thick. But I don't mash it too much because I don't want it to become too small. Just a little. Okay. After your evaporated milk, you're going to add two cups of regular milk and again you will mix then you will use one cup of regular sugar okay So here's your cup of regular sugar. Mix. This process is really uh, pour and mix, pour and mix. So as long as you get all the ingredients in there, okay. I really hope you try this at home because like I said before in my YouTube updates, this is delicious if you like bread pudding or coconut, okay? Now, I'm going to add the raisins. Small box of raisins. You don't really have to add too many. This is because the recipe calls for it. And I have my aunt to thank for this recipe because she taught me how to make it. And ever since, I'm crazy about it. So there are your raisins in there. Okay. And now cinnamon, and you're you're just gonna sprinkle cinnamon in here. So take a close look. I want you to take a close look, so you can have an idea. Not too much, okay? Because that's pretty strong. Okay. So now we've mixed everything in here. And like I said before, I've already buttered the pans, and this recipe can easily make two pans. Because one tip that I wanted to make sure that I gave you is that when you pour this mixture in your pan, don't fill it up all the way to the top. Because remember, this is bread in here and bread rises. So when it rises, you don't want it to like overflow over the pan in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to pour this in the aluminum pan. Okay. It depends how deep your pan is, which I think in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use one pan for everything. They're deep enough, so. Okay. So you use one pan depending on the depth of the pan. Okay. Because the bread has enough space, enough height to rise without dripping. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to place this in your oven at 350 for one hour. And the next step to this is you're going to make the bread pudding cream. So if you come closer, I want to show you. What you will use here is 
Okay, I want you to take a really good close look at what I'm doing. You're going to use half a stick of butter, okay? Half a stick of butter. You're going to use half a measuring cup of cream, heavy cream, okay? Half a cup of brown sugar, okay? Brown sugar, half a cup. And half a cup of regular sugar. You're also going to add to this one teaspoon of your vanilla extract, okay? And you're just going to stir this until it boils and this will be the cream that you will pour onto the bread pudding when it's done. And what I did was I already made a dish so Really, I can show you right now what your bread pudding, your coconut bread pudding is supposed to look like. And it's right here. This is it. When finally it's done, this is the way it's supposed to look. And this cream that I'm making over here, I will pour it in here and refrigerate it. Now, you cannot have this dessert warm. It has to be cold. Okay, so once you put it in your refrigerator, you'll have it there for at least two hours before you eat, okay, before you enjoy it. So I want you to really take a good close look at how the bread pudding is supposed to, to look, to come out, okay. See your mixture, your cream is supposed to be thick. And once this is done, this cream, you're just going to pour it all over your coconut bread pudding, okay? See, I want you to see how it's supposed to look. Just want it to boil a little bit. This is, this is your cream and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour it all over the bread pudding, okay? And once this is refrigerated for at least two hours, this cream is going to thicken on top of the, um, the bread pudding. So it's going to be like a dry cream on top of it, okay? And this is it. This is your bread pudding, coconut bread pudding. This is what I wanted to really show you guys how to make, and I hope that you guys make it out there and enjoy it, okay? Take a good close look. This is it. Okay, and thank you for watching.